How to feel behind of people. How to ruin your life fast, create a mind so feeble. In seeking lacks, in craving wants, we build a prison that hurts, that haunts. For what is normal, what is right, in this relentless, endless fight. To be a hat, to lead the pack, to satisfy this oh so lack. But pause my friend and ask your soul. Does comparing and wanting more ever gets me whole? Does it come from within my core? Or from the world's relentless roar? Do you accept with heavy heart that others hold your crucial part in shaping how you view your worth in this grand theater on earth? If yes, then scroll, compare and amplify that feeling of falling shy. For in distraction lies the key to feeling less than you could be. Don't you see that in the race to not fall behind, you lose yourself, your peace of mind? Focus on pleasure and you forgot the freedom you lost. The fastest way to get behind everyone in your life is to see it this way. To look around you and compare. Compare yourself with your family, compare yourself with your friends, compare yourself with Imangatsi, compare yourself with Kylie Jenner, whoever it is. The fastest way to feel behind in life is to see it this way. By the way, if you're new here, I'm Jordan, 23 years old, did over $4 million in revenue, hired over 50 people. And I started making videos on YouTube in 2012. Just know that this is only appearance, but it is effectiveness that works. So what is effective to not feel behind in life? Or better said, to feel and keep feeling behind in life. Well, start comparing the materialistic wealth you lack that they have. And even better, make sure you believe that you want the stuff they have. So you create this enormous feeling of inadequacy, right? You want to make sure you feel as soon as possible that you lack things you're supposed to have. And since everything is only real in your mind, you want to keep feeding your mind with false beliefs, all right? So it can dramatize it like it always does. It loves drama, isn't it? And because it loves drama, let's start scrolling on Instagram to see perfect lives. Or let's call your mother and ask her what you should be doing and what you should get. And also, let's, let's Google what, you, what, is, what is normal to possess on your age. Because then you can compare yourself again and can increase this feeling of feeling behind in life. How can you even feel more behind? I'm asking you, take time to, to think about it. What made you feel behind in life? I don't know. Find a route, create understanding for yourself. Where does this feeling come from that you are behind? What is the source of this belief? I am behind. Is it yours? I mean, did you have this feeling when you were a kid? If not, then when did you start feeling this way? Why do you even want to feel ahead in life? Is it because you care about the opinion of others so they can judge you on your possessions and say, you are ahead, you have my approval, you have a car, you have this, you have that, you are like this, you have a job, you earn this, you have a partner. Disapproval, this is what you want, right? Think about it. Would you feel behind in life if you were only living in this world with your mother if you too were the only two i assume not so other people play a significant role in how you feel right now do you accept that that for the rest of your life other people decide how you feel because this is what's happening if you can see it you don't decide how you feel if you did then you wouldn't feel behind in life right then you wouldn't feel negative emotions almost daily right so the one who's serious about feeling behind in life as soon as possible and if you already feel that way even increase that feeling more that person will now start scrolling on social media right away comparing with others online and in person start listening to families and friends expectations and opinions not the truth their opinions and injecting these opinions and expectations into their blood so you no longer have to think about feeling behind in life. It just all happens subconsciously, without effort, right? That's the most ideal situation, isn't it? I hope you're serious about this, because I just gave you a few secrets on how to really get to this state. So what are some other ways to feel behind 99% of people in life? Maybe you should believe everything you read, hear and see, especially from the people you look up to, so there's little doubt, and you really believe it for the rest of your life. After all, they are more successful than you. So we also want to consume lots of content, especially self-improvement videos and podcasts, because this will make us feel that we are not yet where we should be, where we need to be. And if we only improve a little bit more, we will get there. We will get what we want, what we should have. 
And then maybe if we do that, we heard that we should increase our meditation from 10 minutes to 15 minutes a day, because this is good, right? And working out five times a week compared to last weeks, four times, is also better, right? I'm asking you, if your answer is yes, then make, let's make sure we stop meditating, that we stop working out completely. So we stop improving and we feel even more behind in life. So you can sit down with all the time you have and ask yourself some honest questions of why we feel this way. Please don't do this. Don't ask yourself. Distract yourself. Work out more, meditate more. We're trying to find the method, ways how we can feel the most behind in life that we've ever felt. We can't sit down and ask ourselves some honest questions. So let's make sure we keep distracting ourselves. Don't sit down in a corner of your room in quiet and ask yourself where this feeling actually comes from. This might make it go away. Don't try to understand it. We want to make sure that this inner voice keeps talking and that we feed it with more and more and more inadequate beliefs. And we want all of this to happen in the background on a subconscious level. So we don't notice it at all and we can just keep doing it like a snowball effect without effort. Do not ask why, do not ask where, don't ask. Just listen, just listen, keep listening. Keep listening to all the things that this inner voice is projecting onto you, almost like a mirror. Let's keep listening to it like it is your own voice. This is how we feel behind 99% of people. And if you start today with all of the things I've shared, you may feel this way earlier than six months. And you may even find an accountability partner in the comments who also want to feel behind in life. And if you also include everything I've shared in your morning routine so you never forget it, I'm sure you can get there within, if not earlier than six months. Only the serious person may check the show notes. And if you are serious and you try to find the truth in your life, but you can't really seem to find it, you can always send me an email or DM. I don't ask you for money, but I only respond to serious questions and to the one who can understand my sarcasm in this video. Talk soon.